Hi everyone, Mary at Espresso Press Design. Welcome. It's time for another Create With Me and today it is Valentine card kit. Be my Valentine. I'm going to go through the kit, print it on plain paper. Uh, this is the card I've already assembled the horizontal card and there is the hidden pocket and this is the inside of the card and all of this comes in the kit minus the card base today I'm going to here is the design that's in the kit example today I'm going to um, assemble the vertical card and uh, this is the example in the kit you will need a an eight and a half by eleven I printed mine on cream and you will cut this at on the eleven inch side at five and a half and then you will score it at four and a quarter and that will give you your vertical or horizontal card base. So that's not included. That's what you'll need to create the kit, create the card. Um, this is the last page. Uh, you'll need your borders. And I used this little one in the horizontal card. These are some free templates. If you don't desire to create a heart to tuck in there, you can um, create a tag and it will fit in that pocket. So that's the last page. This is your sentiment page. And by the way, this kit has a lot of extras. Um, there were just so many extra little things that went with the card design that I just put them in there and those are just free for you to use however you desire and of course you can use any kit however you desire um, I forgot to put it on this page but this these are your sentiments that you can use for inside the card. And in this one I use the sentiment. I also made these so that if you're not comfortable with fussy cutting a heart, you can keep them as a square and they will still tuck in the pocket. In addition, um, if you desire to put on the inside of the card to write a handmade sentiment, handwritten sentiment, there are journal cards and you can just use one of the journal cards in the vertical card. Um, they'll just fit in the horizontal card. So that would work better in the vertical card if you use the journal cards to write a handwritten sentiment. So there's journal cards. These are all extras. These are your card bases for inside the card. They are, everything is proportional to card design. Um, as you can see, I use the blue one inside this card. These are your front card bases. You can barely see it on this one, but I use 
I use some um, I use this one for this card base. So you have four choices for your card bases and these are all extras. There's another card base. These are all extras. Here is your horizontal main image. I use this one. This is an extra. And here are your vertical card images. And I'm going to use this one today because I want to keep it as close to the photo as possible for um, this tutorial will be going up on Etsy. So I have all of my um, everything cut out that you will need for the card. Um, some little extras here. One little extra thing that I did was punch out a little heart. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep this here for my reference. These are all the extras. I have those all cut out too. I'll show those at the end. So let me get my base. Uh, which one did I use? Here's my image. Let me put everything to the side here. That I'm not going to use. There's another image. I printed these on cream cardstock, by the way. Okay, I use that one. And for this, I'll just be needing a little heart. And I know it's here somewhere. I hope. Yeah. Okay. And I had both of those cut out. And I think I will use this is the one I use. And the sentiment I used was this one. I'll keep that out to show you how you can layer that if you desire. And where's my other little part? Don't need that. Don't need that. I use this on the inside. Okay, I'm missing a heart. So I'll just use a circle. Oh, there it is. Tucked under there. Okay. Um, and a little snippet of border. Let me put these to the side so I don't lose them. Okay, first I'm going to um, put down my base and that gets glued completely. The pocket is actually your image. Make sure I'm in. Second, let me uh, burnish this a little better. Okay, we're going to glue down our base. 
you can use glue, you can use double-sided tape, whatever you desire. I am going to be holding this up here just to make sure I get everything straight. Okay. Then this keeps a tiny little border. And remember, you're just going to go around three sides because you want this side to be a pocket. So keep your Keep your thumb there. Try to um, stay as close to the edge as possible. And then that retains a tiny little border. And then I just tack a little heart on there, but I don't want it to interfere with my pocket. So I'm just going to glue it to the card base. I just thought it, I'd add a little something. Embellishment, of course, is up to you. Be careful there that I don't um, that I don't um, cover my my Valentine there. And then for this one, I just. Um, made a little bow so that you could tell there is something in there to take out. You could write a little note on there if you desire. Okay, so I don't know if I'm going to do that part or not. So the inside, we have our base. I chose the red and I um, I began using my trimmer to cut these out and then it was just easier just to cut everything out by hand and I think for Valentine's um, it's appropriate to cut everything out by hand. Makes it look more handmade. That was in the center. And here is an example. If you want to um, use the journal card instead. If you want to layer more on top of your journal card, you can. If you want to take, let me see if I have an appropriate little cut apart here. Um, probably don't have a small enough one in here. Let's see. Let's try this one. You want to take one of those little cut aparts and layer it even further. Make some little design like that. You can do that as well. It's up to you. But I'm just going to go by the design that will be on Etsy.
this tutorial will be on Etsy. However, it's this kit is free to everyone who watches the video. Don't think I said that. And it's it's a lot of fun. It's pretty pretty large for a free kit, but Valentine's Day is kind of like Christmas. You can use your lines on the um, base. Keep everything nice and straight if you're not comfortable doing things like that. Um, this, I think, I think I'd like to turn that into a little fishtail. down there. And then, wait, let me make sure my heart is going to fit. Okay. Go right to there. Of all the fair and fra fragrant flowers that in life's garden grow, there is none that's half so sweet as you, and I like you ever so. Very cute. I thought this, I thought this little design was so whimsical and cute, and it had so much possibility. <laughs> that's why I chose it as my starting point for this kit. And it gave me a chance to work with red. I love red. Okay. There is card number two. I guess I'll just pop a little. Where are we? 18. 18. Just pop a little hole in there. Oh, that's a little close, but it'll work. And I'll just um, create a little hang tag here. So, of course, embellishing. How you embellish is up to you. Okay, Let's see if I have enough room to tie a little bow. Enough string, I mean, to tie a little bow there, and then that is going to tuck in. And there is card number two. And there is the horizontal. Okay, and whatever else you desired to put on there. I thought if I had to use the little circle I might need another little heart but I don't. So there's the vertical, there's the horizontal. 
There's the inside with the sentiment. And there's the inside with the sentiment. Maybe I forgot to put something on there. Let me see. Where'd my design go? No, that's how it is. Okay. So these are all, these are everything that's in the kit. Um, I didn't cut apart everything. The journal cards, all bases. You have several choices for your bases. You have more than one choice for your image. And then these are all the extras, including your, um, large. your large square with all of your cut aparts and your templates. So again, if you would just like to take that tag use it as a template, use one of your um, <clears throat> designs, it will fit. If you want to make additional hearts, it will fit. So it's a lot of fun. All kinds of little things. I didn't cut apart all my borders. A lot of fun and it's free just for hopefully liking subscribing and sharing my youtube channel and there's another some other little borders pretty little sentiment those are all extras you can use however you desire okay 23 I think that was, um, I hope that tutorial was self-explanatory enough, but if you have any minimal experience with card making, I'm sure um, you can do it. It's very easy and you saw how, how fast it actually was. And again, if you're not comfortable cutting out, um, fussy cutting the heart, you can just, um, tuck it in there as a square and it would it should still fit I'm sure it will fit and if you prefer to use a tag make a tag instead you can uh, make a tag okay thank you for stopping by don't forget the download link will be as a PDF in the description and um, have a fun day making your little valentines. Talk to you soon. Bye.